Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the Week 2 2021 Weekly Update. This week, we've got something of a micro-carry selection, some California legal autos, and some compact folders. But we'll start out with the Combat Trodon, a decidedly large out the front from Microtech Knives. Made in the USA, we've got a double-edged blade of CTS XHP. So good wear resistance with moderate corrosion resistance. And you can see it's got a nice heavy stone wash on there. Aircraft grade aluminum handles with proprietary gray hardware, matching clip and glass breaker, and of course, double action out the front mechanism there. So as you can see, the handle of this knife is about as large as the largest knife we've got on the table here. And also on the larger side of things, we have some Fox Knives Karambits with micarta. We've got either black or stonewash blades with matching clip and black or green canvas micarta. And this one is the black. You can see you've got a nice solid handle that you can use with or without the karambit ring. And then of course, micarta is gonna deliver enhanced traction even when wet as well as a nice warm organic feel in the hand. And of course it is durable and lightweight. On the Fox Karambit, you've got a few deployment options, including the blade hole, Emerson wave feature. And if you give it a little wrist, you can use this flipper tab. But as you can see, it's not the best choice of deployment and is utilized more as an index finger guard on there. And we've got the four variants in micarta. And then we've also got a new color in the anodized aluminum. You can see here a nice brown leaning towards bronze. Durable, lightweight, and of course, weather resistant. Aluminum is a great choice. And it's fairly smooth for fast pocket transition while having these milled grooves for a little bit of added traction on the aluminum there. This one is only available currently in the black blade, but we do have several options of the Karambit available. And jumping back over to Microtech, here we've got the Dirac top slide out the front auto. Got a 204P blade. So good edge retention and corrosion resistance, similar to M390. Two-tone black blade with satin flats. This one is a double edge, obviously one plane and one serrated. Great choice for ambidextrous users. You've got the top slide and of course the single position deep carry clip, but because of the double edge and top slide, this can be carried in either your left or right pocket and operated with either hand. Proprietary black tactical hardware, slide, clip, and glass breaker. And given the size of this knife, it makes an excellent daily carry. Take a look at it here with the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. So you can see not a whole lot larger than that. Fairly lightweight with the aluminum handle construction and just a great all-around OTF. And then we've got a UTX 70, the smallest in the Ultra Tech line. We got a spine slide on this one with Apocalyptic Bronze 204P on the Tonto blade, matching hardware slide and clip. And of course, that double action out the front automatic mechanism. You can see it's about as thick as the Mini Bug Out and about the same size, just a little bit shorter in blade and handle and a nice compact footprint on there. I've got another UTX 70 here and this one is the California legal UTX 70. So you've got a sub two inch blade. This one is Bowler's M390 in a stonewash double edge. And otherwise you're looking at the same construction, just a smaller blade on this California legal model. And if you're looking for another California legal auto, check out the micro incursion. 
And this is an HK, but made by Hogue here in the USA. 154 CM blade. And this one is a stonewash finish. And we've got a gray aluminum handle blasted with satin flats. Nice stainless steel deep carry clip. Snappy out the front automatic mechanism. And show it here. This is the mini incursion. So you can see the micro is quite a bit smaller. This one being a nice full size EDC out the front. But otherwise, design and construction is going to be very similar. On the micro, they did leave off the glass breaker end as it is quite small and wouldn't be really appropriate to the design. If you're looking for a nice, compact, and robust fixed blade for daily carry, the Giant Mouse GMF1P is a great choice. P stands for PVD. And of course, this is finished in a black and tumbled PVD for a nice discreet finish that is going to be non-reflective and hide wear from use. Solid three-finger grip on here. Nice jimping on the spine, which is crowned for comfort. And the construction is Buller N690, which is a great stainless steel for daily use and carry. Minimal maintenance and easy to sharpen with good edge retention and durability. And it comes with a high quality Italian leather belt sheath for carry. So nice carry option there. And of course, you've got a nice slim profile that is going to carry very well. And if you're looking for something even smaller, check out the new Man Bug Warncliffe from Spyderco. It's a new blade shape on this classic design, designed by Sal Glesser, who is the founder of Spyderco. You've got a fully flat ground blade of VG10, bi-directional textured FRN handle scales. You've got no liners, but as you can see, the thickness of the scales makes it quite rigid. Lanyard hole for carry, and this makes a great keychain knife or fifth pocket knife. And you've got that nice mid back lock for secure carry and use. Bit of jimping on the spine there for traction. And of course, the ambidextrous round hole from Spider Co., giving you left or right hand carry and deployment options. And if you want to add a lanyard for a little extra real estate on there for your grip you can easily do so and i would recommend checking out our new drop from audacious concepts we have a variety of finishes for the titanium eight figure you've got a glow dot there the new run has a blasted outside edge and inside edge on the larger part of the ring so you can use that as the end of a lanyard for added security and carry. And this is their Thunder Sky finish, but we do have a variety of different anodized and coated finishes for those as well. And here on the right, we have the Amanita Mushroom Beads from Audacious Concept. And this is a genus that contains 600 species of agarics. Some of the most toxic mushrooms in the world, including the death cap species known as destroying angels. So a good idea to stay away from mushrooms like this in the wild. But these beads are totally safe and make a great and stylish addition to your everyday carry. And they are stylized like the fly agaric, which is typically shown with a red cap with white dots represented in silver on these beads. And we have them in bronze, brass, and copper. Nice six millimeter hole through the center for lanyard attachment. And as I said, makes a great addition to your knife, keychain, or they make a nice standout piece for zipper pulls as well. And last but not least, we have Benchmade's 
first release for 2021, the Mini Bug Out in all black. We've got a black coated S30V blade and black CF Elite handle scales. So construction and design is the same. We've just got that all black colorway. And then of course, CF Elite is a carbon fiber polymer blend that increases the rigidity and reduces the weight on this already lightweight platform. Speaking of Benchmade, we'll roll through some of the exciting new 2021 releases, some of which have added drop dates. So check out the descriptions of the items on our site, and you should be able to see when a lot of these Benchmades are anticipated to drop. First up, we've got the Ohm S30V out the front automatic. We've got these in both stonewashed and black blades in either black or blue hard anodized aluminum handles. A nice compact EDC out the front should be very popular. We have the shorthand and longhand bolt action pins. A nice addition to the Benchmade pin lineup. We've got these in black hard anodized aluminum or brushed stainless steel for a bit more heft and an eye-catching look. We've got a couple of premium upgraded Benchmade bug outs in the roster this year, starting off with a DLC coated M390. So nice premium blade upgrade there. And then a milled aluminum handle. So getting an upgrade in both the blade and handle materials there. Next up, we have the Jared Oser designed Tengu in a gold class design. This flipper knife has a bifrost pattern Damasteel blade and what they're calling Scandinavian winter carbon fiber, which is a black and white carbon fiber. So very striking and eye-catching design from this custom collaboration in the gold class line. Next up, one of the knives that I'm very excited to see is the Auto Fact. The Fact is a stiletto inspired out the side manual design in the black class. And the Auto Fact, as the name would suggest, is an automatic version, but it's also got some great premium upgrades, including a black coated S90V blade. And then you've got smooth aluminum handles with carbon fiber inlays. And this is going to be a stylish and classy out the side auto that is going to deliver a high level of performance. Next up, we'll check out the Adamus line, including the new for 2021 and much anticipated mini Adamus. All of these are getting upgrades to CPM crewwear steel. It's going to deliver toughness that is approaching that of the Ultra Tough 3V with edge retention comparable to that of S30 and S35, as well as a decent level of corrosion resistance for a tool steel comparable or above that of D2. And next up, we've got another premium upgrade to the Benchmade bug out, still in a very ultralight configuration. This one has a stonewashed S90V blade and carbon fiber handle scales with blue anodized thumb studs and aluminum backspacer with lanyard hole. This one is sure to be popular for the everyday carry crowd. And as I said before, you can check out all of these on our coming soon section of the site linked in the description below. And any knives that have release dates will show the release date in the description. Again, this is Tyler with the GP Knives and your week two 2021 weekly update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, follow us on social media via the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel and like the video below, and follow us for updates on all new products and releases.